Hey Evolution, welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. I'm back again with some knives. In fact, some that we just did an unboxing on. These are the Wicking or Wiking. I still already don't know how to pronounce that company's name. It's W I C I N G, so figure it out yourself. Anyway, these are a new no spin knife, and they are definitely designed for no spin, which I'll show you. They're 10 inches long, by the way, and uh, they're about seven ounces. Now, I wouldn't like to have them a little bit heavier, but here's the way they're designed, and you can see they definitely are no spit. The tang, very thick tang, all the way down, really. Good sharp point, but take a look at this. The edge, that's as thick as the tang is. That's definitely a no spin knife, and you would hold it just like this in order to do that. Well, I had said in that unboxing, and we didn't replan on throwing it. I couldn't wait. I had to throw it. In fact, I threw three at one time, which you may know, and you may have seen some of the shorts, especially where I took the thing and threw it at a half spin, three at one time, because there was a lot of viewers on that video. Anyway, what we're going to do today is we are actually going to take this and we're going to throw it as a spin from uh, the competition distance around 13 feet, and we're going to try throwing it at 16 feet with a multi-spin. Um, I'm not sure how that'll work, but we'll throw some half spins and the regular no spin as well. And Like I said, this is the review on it, and so far I'm very impressed with this knife. Um, it takes a little getting used to, which it does with any knife. You just don't pick them up. There's a similarity, but still there's a difference in each different design. And like this one, if it, say it was nine or 10 ounces, it'd be different again. But it is a 10 inch knife, seven ounces. So um, anyway, let's see what happens. We'll go down here and we'll start doing some throwing. I'm gonna stop to put these gloves on. They're a knife throwing glove that's put out by Cold Steel. Got these pretty dirty already. I've used them otherwise. I got another pair of these. They work great for driving. But throwing knives, I'll tell you, gloves, throwing knives, it, it makes it tough. I mean, trying to grip them just right. And yeah, it's got the leather palm and it's got this real thick stuff up here, almost like for fighting. And then it's got this material and I suppose, I guess it's supposed to be kind of uh, cut resistant. Of course, with these knives, you don't have to worry about that except for the point. But they're kind of awkward for throwing. You see what I mean? I didn't really hit that the way I should have. And uh, let me try it. Well, that one I got it. It's just getting used to it with the gloves. I may end up taking these off, although it's really cold out here. Yeah, I'm going to end up taking them off and then we'll try. See how these work without it. Get my knives. Okay, I got my knives and I got my gloves off. I moved some stuff down below, so now let's see if we can control these a little better. Well, it wasn't a bullseye, was it? But it does seem like you got a hold of them a little bit better. Now that one was a bullseye. So now let's try some half spin. I'm not putting those gloves. Okay, on. let's go with some half spin here. And you notice I'm holding them this way, especially with the blade that doesn't have the sharpness to it. Not too bad. They work very well half spin. Now I'm going to go back and uh, go back to that 13 foot area, which is, just, well, hopefully I don't hit you. I'm going to be just slightly behind you. Ooh, that one was an underspin. Oh, I hit the other knife. Let's try that again. Those last two were bullseyes on that, but such a bullseye hit the other knife. Well, those certainly hit the bullseye area, didn't they? Uh, quite a groupie. I'm surprised I didn't knock them out again, but at least I got them there. 
We're going to go back now, and first I'm going to show you how I threw those, or rather, how I held them. Normally, I would throw them this way, kind of upside down. Didn't try that, really. But uh, what I did is I used this as my trigger. See how that? And I took my hand right here, and that's how I threw them. And of course, with this bad shoulder, I'm having more and more problems. I'm just hoping I'm going to be able to keep up throwing. Uh, but uh, you see there where I hit another knife with it, which I did with those three. They were right on there. So, uh, well, as I said, they, they work this way. Why don't we take them and I'm going to try throwing them this way from 16 feet. See how they do with a multi-spin. So let me get back there. Uh, I'm going to be back a little ways from me this time. that other knife and I'm going to spread out just a little bit so let me grab them we're going to do this again okay those went in didn't hit the other one this time as you can see and I got a couple of them Pretty much in the bullseye, because the bullseye is usually about three inches on knife throwing. As those of you that do know a lot of knife throwing already know, those that you don't, now you do know. Uh, they went in, I don't know. One of them, and this one went in pretty good. Uh, it went in that far. And from, actually, I was throwing probably from about 18 feet. Let me get those knives, and uh, you can hear a lot of noise back here. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to get done breaking. That's a semi over there, as you can tell. Okay, I got all three knives now. But uh, there's one, and I really don't know which one. It might be this one, because it looks like I bent the point just a little bit. It might have been from hitting knives. It just doesn't seem to stick as well as the others. Uh, yeah, and, you know, when I'm throwing... Three at a time, I'm usually putting them together like this. But, uh, as I said, they're not a bad knife. 10 inch knife, they're definitely a no spin knife. There's no way out of that. So until next time, shoot safe, throw safe, and have a great day of planking. There we go.